Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome once again to another Smogon Tournament replay narration. This time I'm bringing you a new open round 6. I know I uploaded round 5 yesterday, but that was a while ago. Uh, I just played this uh, these games uh, just a few minutes ago, and it was a pretty good series, so I thought I'd upload it. Um, this is against Shiba. Um, basically, if you look at the matchup right now, I've got a Zatu and he's got, he's got webs, Shuckle webs. So I definitely have an advantage there because it's going to be pretty much impossible for him to get webs up against Zatu. But as you can see, he also have a lot. He has a lot of offensive threats on his team, which can really uh, put me under pressure, such as uh, uh, the Specs Vanillax, Miss Magius, which probably has Dazzling Gleam, Barbarical if it has Z move on it. On my side, uh, the Guzzlord is kind of just fodder versus everything because it pretty much just gets destroyed everything but i also have emboar if you look at emboar except barbarical nothing likes switching into a flare bridge uh so it was it was an interesting matchup i would say it was in my favor but let's just get into the game so starting off uh he leads with his vanillax obviously and i lead my emboar predicting him to lead with shuckle uh but that didn't work out for me and he goes into a shuckle immediately on my superpower now here i got a crit here i think uh, that crit kind of changed the way the next turn would have gone if I didn't get a crit I would have probably um, I think he would have doubled but since I got a crit now he can he's definitely gonna go to Miss Magus here uh, because uh, one is Shuckle dies to the next superpower and, and two um, there's no point from staying there so he goes to Miss Magus getting uh, predicting my scarf and getting a free pivot into Miss Magus I go to my Steelix uh, now you could question why I would go to Steelix because it definitely just dies to a nasty plot after Shadow Ball but I prioritized my rocks in this game because I felt like Vanillax is a huge threat and there is no way for me to control it, uh, killing everything on my team with freeze dry unless I get rocks up. So I wanted to preserve my Steelix dirty in the beginning of this game for if something sets up such as Miss Magius or Barbarical, but uh, I think I made the right play here by just sacking the Steelix for rocks on his side of the field, which he cannot remove as well. So. He shadow balls, I click rocks, next turn he kills me. I do not make any switches here because there's no point and I don't have anything that can uh, even revenge it. Now here I go into my Emboar because it's the only thing that's faster on my team and can actually beat Miss Magius. Uh, he obviously decides to sack sh Shuckle because he doesn't want to take damage with anything else. Now, uh, he has to go to Barbarical here because there's nothing else that can actually come in and even touch my Emboar without dying. He goes, to my, he goes to his Barbarical and here in my mind I calc every single... Uh, Pokemon, whatever damage it took from plus two uh, Stone Edge. So Slowbro took around 60 to 70 percent. Vileplume took around uh, 80 percent at max. But Z move uh, basically killed Vileplume and it almost killed Slowbro. It was actually a, a roll in his favor for him to kill me. But as you guys are going to see, luckily he's actually turns out to not be uh, Z move. He turns out to be White Herb, which was kind of great for me. Um, so uh, he clicked Grass on here, which was kind of weird. I don't really like Grass on and Barbarical, but I clicked Scald and this was kind of lucky, um, me getting a burn here made it really helpful because if I didn't get a burn I would have to slack slow, uh, sack Slowbro and then go into Wild Plume next turn and then kill him off. Luckily I got a burn and that was um, that was in, that was pretty cool for me. Um, here I switch out in my Wild Plume because I don't want to take one other Grass Knot and he makes a nice prediction there and clicks uh, Shell Smash again. And he, he gets a chip off on my Wild Plume which was good for him, I'm um, basically in range from Virizion now. I Giga Drain and uh, revenge him. Uh, now here he goes into his uh, Manilux basically. Now he he kind of just gets a kill. I have to just pick one a sack and because if I he can click freeze dry uh, and I don't want I, there's no way I'm gonna sack my slow and my Emboar needs to be at full health because now I have a really good shot at sweeping his entire team with Emboar. So I, I go ahead and uh, sack my Guzzlord, which is kind of useless this game anyway. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get enough action. Uh, now I go to my Emboar and I get a kill here 100%. So he just decides to sack his Manilux. Uh, and as you guys are gonna see actually that he's got nothing that can even harm my Emboar in any sort of way So I, I will I'll, the only way I'm gonna die is if I die from recoil So as you guys are gonna see I'm just gonna end up killing his last two Pokemon with flare blitz I do kind of disagree with the, with this uh, series of plays at the end. I think he should have sacked his uh, Malamar uh, and then proceeded to even like at least attempted to try to sweep with Miss Mages. It would have been very difficult, but he would have at least had somewhat of a shot. But here, he basically 100% lost uh, with a series of plays he cho chose. The, the burn at the end didn't matter for sure because that was a Rocky Helmet Zatu. So. Uh, Alright, let's just move on to the next game. Now, here I brought a team made by my boy, Gary Oak. Uh, this is a really cool team. It's got really cool sets. It's got uh, double two Specs mons, which basically no team can even ever can, no team can ever handle. 
and it's got a nice uh, uh, bulky offensive backbone with Scarf, Delphox, and Z Verizion. He brings a really cool team, but the 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 main threat on his team is this this guy, Turtle. The Turtle. The Turtle basically um, kind of just sweeps my team after rocks, but obviously it's really difficult for him to set up. And the only thing I have that can actually do anything to him is my Delphox because it's Scarf and it's faster than uh, Turtinator when it cell smashes. So uh, I was just cautious about this, but otherwise I think um, he has nothing for my Verizon. Uh, I was ex I, at, at matchup I thought he was Scarf, Drapion, and um, Specs Rotom, uh, but that was not the case. But let's, let's just get right into the game. I don't know if my gu Guzzlord because for once, uh, Guzzlord has an amazing matchup. Nothing like switching into Guzz Guzzlord this game at all. Um, Specs, obviously, so he leads off with Drapion. Drapion does not have a good matchup versus Guzzlord. The best move it can use is uh, Poison Jab. And since I was in, under the impression that he was uh, a Scarfed, I thought that he was not going to stay in. So I made an aggressive play here. I predicted him to go to Cryogon because Cryogon can take uh, both of Guzzlord's stabs but cannot take a Fire Blast. I predicted him to go to Kyogre, but he makes a really nice read here and goes to Slowbro on my on my Fire Blast. Um, here I switch out to my Vanillux because again, uh, Vanillux except for Kyogre, nothing comes in on Vanillux. So obviously he's gonna switch out here because he's fearing that Freeze Dry. Once again, I make another aggressive play and I use Flash Cannon predicting his Kyogre. I get up a really nice seventy one percent. Since it specs, uh, I'm I'm gonna stay in and predict him to recover. Now here he doubles back into Slowbro. Uh, now, for some reason, I felt that he was gonna double into Cryogonal, predicting me to go to Guzzlord or something. Because Guzzlord is pretty free in the situation, very free, if I would say. Because he can easily switch out, or you can just slack off my Flash Cannon infinitely. So, I expected him to go to Cryogonal to try to maybe attack or get a recover off. So, I just Flash Cannon again. Uh, bad, uh, aggressive play, but it's alright. He slacks off. Uh, here, I can still go to Guzzlord for free, no, no problem at all. Uh, he clicks Calm Mind. And as you guys are going to see, I got a lucky flinch here, though I do not agree with these series of play at all from him. Um, there is no reason There is no reason for you for Slowbro Stain versus Guzzlord, a Specs Guzzlord versus Dark Pulse. Even if you have Cold Barberry, um, there is no way you're winning 1v1. I mean, next turn I'm still going to get off more than 50%, so I don't understand like why he, would, why he stayed in. I, I did get the flinch though, which was kind of lucky for me, so uh, I'm not going to deny that. He goes into his Drapion here. Again, right now I still felt that he was Scarf, so I proceeded to stay in because I wanted to kill uh, his Drapion so I could sweep with uh, Verizion. But as you guys are going to see, he reveals that he's not actually Scarf and he clicks Z uh, uh, Earthquake, which was kind of really, which was kind of bad for me because I, I was, my intention was to preserve Steelix's dirty for the entire game so I don't get swept by Turtle, but he just got off damage, so I thought I'd get Rocks up. Um, me getting rocks up is great as well because now his cryogonal dies to rocks. So uh, I get rocks up. He he kills me off with EQ. Now I can just go to my Verizon because it's faster than Drapion. 100% kills it. Uh, I click CC. Now uh, it, it, the best play for him is to go to Rotom because there's nothing else on his team. If you can see that even likes coming into Verizon a bit. Uh, Slowbro can obviously live. My Radon can also live, but they don't really do much. He goes to Rotom, which um, was probably like the ideal play for just to Volt switch out. But as you guys are gonna see, uh, I go to my Delphox here because I knew that I can I, I don't really take much damage from any of his hits. But he he, he cl clicks Trick for some reason because uh, I actually don't know why he clicked Trick because it was kind of confusing. I guess he predict me to go to Guzzlord or something, which does not make any sense to me because everything on my team. He, I revealed Specs on Vanillax. I revealed. Uh, specs on Guzzlord. I'm not gonna go to Golbat on a on a Rotom, so I'm kind of confused on why he clicked that. And if you look at my team, there's no uh, there's no other Pokemon that can run a Z move except Verizion. So I'm kind of I was really confused why he clicked that. Luckily for me, but here I made a pretty big choke. Uh, even though it tr tricked for some reason, I just thought I'd click Signal Beam. I, I thought he'd go to Slowbro here. I just I just slipped out of my mind that he can just sack his uh, Cragnol and get a Pivot Advantage. And he sacks his Kragnol, I stay in, as a, it was a blunder. Uh, but now he can go to his Turtonator and click Cell Smash for free. My only Pokemon which can even somewhat hurt it is Golbat and live a hit as well. So I go to Golbat here. Uh, he makes, he reveals he's not Z-Move and he's, uh, sorry, he, he reveals that he's White Herb, he already reveals Z-Move. But he makes, he makes another very nice play and clicks Cell Smash again because there's nothing on Golbat that can actually uh, kill Turtonator from here. So. Another nice play from him. I click Brave Bird. I get him in a uh, pretty good range um, from anything basically. But now this was a very uh, bad situation for me. I calc damage on every Pokemon. 
Guzzlord is at 52, so it's the only Pokemon that could actually live a Fire Blast, but Fire Blast plus Poison Damage kills Guzzlord as well. Golbat dies to any uh, hit, uh, any, uh, not any hit, it dies to Fire Blast and Draco Meteor, lives a Dragon Pulse. And I was in a really bad situation here. My only way of actually killing the turtle was either dodging a Fire Blast or uh, weakening it with Hail and killing it in four turns, because Vanillux gets, can get Hail up and kill it in four turns. So this was my plan. I was uh, The only thing I could think of at this point was I, I just get up Hail and I somehow either dodge or I, I have to hack him to win from here. So I go to my Vanillux, I sack it, he reveals uh, Fire Blast, so uh, I, I had hope to hack him. But I go to my Golbat here, uh, my intention was I'm going to go to my Golbat and I'm going to go to my Guzzlord and either hope for a Fire Blast miss, because I, I, I didn't expect him to click Draco or, or you know lose his special attack, because Golbat, if you calc, it dies from Fire Blast here. So I thought he'd Fire Blast, I was hoping he'd either miss or Guzzlord lived, got a roll, low roll and just live somehow, I don't know, I was just like, you gotta hope for hacking this kind of situation, so. Uh, I go to my uh, Guzzlord here, but he reveals that he has Draco Meteor, which was kind of confusing to me. I guess he didn't want to like miss, but the winning play was Fire Blast in every situation here. Uh, so uh, since he revealed that I calc Draco again, it was a mid roll. I'm not gonna say that I didn't get lucky. It was a mid roll, uh, but it was basically almost a 50/50 roll. So I'm not. I, I think it was. It was anyone's turn here, so obviously he Draco meters and I roost on his Draco. Uh, he dies next turn, so uh, I just roost again. Uh, but he just he decides to keep another sack for us, sack for later, and goes to ride on. Here I, I taunt predicting his rocks because rocks is pretty obvious here. Uh, taunting basically immobilizes him and allows me to switch into my Virizion for free uh, with no repercussions. He goes into his Rotom here and once again he clicks Trick uh, because he, I, I guess he assumed that I was not Z-Move and that basically means that I win this game because nothing can beat Virizion now after uh, an SD. He goes to a slow bro, it dies to Leaf Blade and now you're just gonna see him get swept. Uh, so good games, so these were pretty fun. Uh, I feel like I could have played a little better uh, with my uh, Del Fox when I made that misplay, but uh, all good. Uh, uh, I'll be playing rounds. Uh, round seven comes out next uh, week. Also, uh, I'll be playing for NUPL fi finals tomorrow, so look out for that game. And um, since I've been posting two uh, NU games already, I'll probably post another one tomorrow. Uh, I'm most likely going to post an Ubers game quite soon. Uh, so let me know what you, uh, whatever you guys want to see. Uh, um, I'll see what I can do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.